Hey, 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 y'all. This is your girl, Monique Dior. And I'm back another Thursday with another video. So, y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really have nothing to talk about. Like, I don't have no specific topic. I didn't travel anywhere. Um, so, yeah, I'm keeping my word. At the beginning of the year, I said that I was going to drop a video every Thursday. This is me keeping my word. Okay, so this video won't be too long. Um, I'll just chit chat a little and then, you know, head on out. But let's get into this. Listen to the sound. She wants to move to the beat of the drum. The beat of the drum. in the beginning i really don't have nothing structured for this week i wanted to do april showers the book review but my cousin still has it um so i can't give y'all that book review yet um and it's gonna be uh interesting now because the way i felt when i first read it i don't feel the same Got some stuff that happened in life and we'll talk about it when we do a book review but i still love the book um whatever i'm not gonna get too deep into it so a little update with me y'all i i just had my 10 year class reunion last weekend as you can see is up here on the calendar y'all planning a class reunion so ghetto zero out of ten recommendation okay no 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 just kidding um it did take a lot of work but we had a lot of fun and we pulled it off and it was such a great weekend it was amazing seeing my classmates you know it's crazy how a lot of us still live here in tallahassee but we never see each other for real and tallahassee is not that big but we had a good weekend a meet and greet friday um saturday we had the little cookout um picnic type deal at the park and then that night we went to our classmates house and we hung out and had fun um sunday they went to brunch and, and i said they because i didn't go sunday to brunch i was actually at church for rep your school sunday um that was super lit and super dope i had fun um what else oh i started going to therapy i don't know if i told y'all um i know i did the the um the video there's writing and therapy um but i have actually started going to therapy on top of writing um y'all breakthroughs is so important and um my last homework assignment was relaxation and it's crazy how things work and i've really been relaxing ever since like i've been of course i've been busy but i haven't been as busy as i usually am but still did my homework which was an hour a day um put my phone down and just relax do something that's relaxing and do something that i enjoy but it's not work so that was fun um what else started therapy oh y'all today at therapy i was just I thought I was about to cry, but I didn't. Um, I didn't want to talk about my love life, um, but we kind of sort of tapped into it today. Um, I didn't want to talk about it. I know you like how you go to therapy and you don't want to talk about that. I didn't want to bring it up because I, I don't, I don't, I didn't really, I wasn't ready to deal with it. But we started talking about it today. Um, kind of ripped off some scabs, you know. I didn't cry. I was an OG. Triple OG, double OG. Um, but yeah, I really love therapy. I'd be excited to go. And when I'd be like, dang, I gotta wait two weeks. And then when it's time for me to go, I'd be like, it's been two weeks already. So my therapist, she's definitely said she's seen a change. I'm more relaxed. I'm smiling more. And apparently, <laughs> people like it when I smile. So apparently I've been smiling more. Um, that's a good thing. I don't know. Smiling. Mm, Mm -hmm. I, I don't know but since the people requested that i smile more here you go i'm smiling um what else 
Oh, I got a new bed. Oh, you can't really see it, but I got a new bed for, Chris for Christmas. Christmas ain't even here. I got a new bed for my birthday for my mom. Um, Y'all, I really just had to move this bed by myself. So ghetto. Um, because the people set it up wrong, but neither here nor there. I'm Handy Woman Shan. Oh, y'all, if you can see my hair. Cute. Yes. So, I did my hair myself. This is crochet. Um, I stood in the mirror and I did it myself. Um, so, y'all, let me tell you something. You save money doing hair yourself, but standing there doing it, you like, bruh. Do I, I was standing in the mirror. I was like, do I... Do I do I really wanna do I really wanna you almost done now you might as well finish so I'm like hi but I mean I can't wait and just let my cousin do it but I was like nah I'm, since I started I'm gonna go ahead and finish um what else yeah I told you I really ain't got nothing to talk about um but I'm keeping my word I'm keeping my word y'all I promise. Um, I, that's something that I really wanted to stand on, um, be more engaging and continuously put out content. Oh, content. Y'all, 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 y'all. So y'all, I have been going crazy with the reels. So if you follow me on, um, Instagram, which you should, <laughs> thank you. Um, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you see that I've been cranking out these reels. I've been cranking out these reels. I've been posting them on TikTok. I've been cranking out these TikToks. Oh, I need to post one. Got it. Do it after this video. Y'all, I have been cranking out content. So, y'all, please feel free to, if y'all see something funny or y'all see something that y'all want me to recreate, send it to me. I will do my best to try and recreate it or make something happen. Yeah, you know? So, I've definitely been going crazy trying to drop more content. Um, and what I decided to do on my Instagram page, because I was literally posting just pictures of me um, from photo shoots and things of that nature. But I want my page, like, I just don't want it to be like I'm just this photo shoot girl. Like, you don't see, you don't get to see the real me. No, 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 no. I am a real person, you know? All the time, my hair is not done. All the time, my makeup is not done. All the time, I'm not in some fly clothes. <sighs> I'm human, okay? And that's one thing that I really want to... I want it to change about my Instagram page. And I want it to come across more authentic and more relatable. So, I started posting my reels. Um, and some of the pictures I'm finna start... Well, I started posting are not necessarily professional, uh, professional photos. Like, they're just photos of me and from my phone um so yeah i am relatable y'all can reach out to me y'all can hit me up i'm gonna respond um that's one thing i always want to do um fr from the beginning of this i've always wanted to build a relationship with my audience and my fans and my friends and you know just talk to y'all like y'all can reach me y'all send me a message um, send me an email, whatever. I'm going to respond, okay? Even if you send me a DM, I'm not that bougie person where I don't check my DMs. Yes, I check my DMs. Um, speaking of DMs, y'all, it's been a wave. It's just stuff to come in and talk about. Yes. It's been a wave of posts I've been seeing about people who check their DMs and they found a man. <laughs> um... I checked my DMs. I ain't found one. I guess it's not. But see, here's another thing, too, about that. Um, I'm happy for everyone who responded to their DMs and they're fine, they found their person and they're happy this, that, and the third. I personally, if you slide into my DMs, uh, okay, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not bougie. I will respond. But I personally want to meet my person the old school way. I want physical me and you, you know what I'm saying? We meet up, we run into each other at the store or something. That's how I really want to find my man. Physical, not digital, okay? But I mean, if you do, if I do meet my man on social media, it is what it is. But I just prefer face-to-face <laughs> -face interaction because people be lying and people be catfishing behind these, uh, behind these, um, or, uh, behind these profiles. But, um... What else? 
just been spending time with my family. Um, of course, y'all know I'm big on family. I love my family. My little cousins, they have, all of them are playing football. So my Saturday mornings are filled with football games. I try and make it to um, their games whenever I'm in town or if I'm not at work. Um, what else? I think that's it, y'all. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all, folks. Oh, um, one of my posts said, because I asked the question of what I should do on um, what this video should be about. Somebody said, I know it wasn't somebody. It was Hype T. I know what he said. Let me, where's my other phone? Give me one second. Okay, find my other phone. So let me see. <laughs> Oh, what else I said I wanted to do? I wanted to tell y'all. Um, I think it's not on here. Oh, the story went away. I think he said how the glow up, how I keep glowing up. Um, so how I don't know. Like, how do I keep glowing up? It's not me. Um, I'm just honestly, I'm just living, and I'm taking care of myself. Oh, I'm starting to go back to the gym on the first. Whew, I took a break. I know I'm going to cry when I go back, but got to get it together. Um, I keep going up. I just keep learning. I just keep evolving. And I just keep letting the Lord use me. Like, I just pray constantly that God protect me and cover me and whatever his will is for my life. Let me walk in my destiny and my purpose. And to just bless others. That's that's the only thing that I can say um, about glowing up. Um, is it on my story? Y'all, I really want to find this now. This on my other phone, y'all. So let's see if it's still up there. Nope. Oh, here's another one. Um, Rainier said, what should this vi video be about? Mental, physical check-in, um, how life, is, life has been during this uh, pandemic, sharing funny life moments or a day vlog. So I kind of just did that for y'all. Y'all, so yeah. Hold on. Let me let me show y'all so y'all know I ain't lying. Oh, there you go. There you go. So y'all see I ain't lying. Um so yeah, that's what she said. Um that oh and major shout out to um oh life update. Um it's not really a life update, but just a message um you never know who you're gonna meet or who you're gonna encounter um one girl i worked with her about two years ago um we started working together um and she has just been so inspirational to me like she's been motivational and usually i don't talk about monique dior at at my job but just talking to her i was so comfortable and she was just like i know you do more than just you know your job. I know you do more. She was like, you got to do more. You're amazing. You're dope. Blah, 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 blah. So we formed a relationship, y'all. And she sent me, um, she messaged me. She was like, oh my God, I forgot about your birthday. I'm going to send you a little token of love. And y'all, she sent me a cash app, but it's not about the cash app. It was the message that she left within the cash app. It said, happy belated birthday, future award winning actor. If applying pressure was the person, she did that. And I'm I'm grateful for that because now I have to live up to that. I have to be an award-winning actress. So, you're going to see this face. Yeah, definitely going to happen. Definitely going to make it happen. Oh, I said I was going to give y'all what I'm listening to. So, the current song, songs that I'm listening to is Sean Millie. Y'all, I found this handsome young man on TikTok. And he was singing his song, Love Me. And I'm like, oh, oh that's R&B. That's real R&B. I, I felt that, like, right here. So y'all know me. Once I hear somebody that I like, I'm going to do my research. Y'all, I found this man on everything. And baby, I started following him. Then I seen that he had a whole EP one in a milli or one in a is it one in a milli one in a million hold on let me not lie y'all know i like to fact check give me two seconds 
anyway, while I'm looking for that, it's going to be in my, in my recents. Oh, no, it's other phone. Yeah, wait. Yes, it's called One in a Milli. That's the, um, the name of his EP. And y'all, that young man touched my heart. Okay. I have been playing his EP since I've discovered him. He had a live a, a week or two ago. Um, he went on live on Instagram. Y'all, I hopped on. And I was nervous. I was like, let me hit request. Nobody ever answered my request. He answered my request. And he was so humble and so down to earth. And then he asked me what was my favorite song. And I told him it was between Love Me and Temporary. But honestly, the whole EP bop. Like, I can just put it on. I ain't got to skip it. It can just play. So, between Sean Millie and I'm still bumping Jasmine Sullivan and judging mama. Don't judge me. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that's that was a, my, that was, that's what I'm listening to right now um, for my R&B. Um, for my gospel. Um, let me see. Let's see what's recent in my gospel. Cause y'all don't don't get it confused. I still play my gospel. I still listen to my gospel. Um, Pastor uh, Pastor Mike Junior. He is heavy in rotation. His song I got it. Um, and he got another song called um, Amazing, y'all. It sounds like CeeLo Green um, crazy, but he's made a gospel version of it. It's a bop, okay? It's a bop. So, thank y'all so much for tuning in to my little video, listening to me rant. I had to keep my word. My word is my bond. Um, I love y'all so much, and I thank y'all so much for watching. To all of my 266 subscribers, I love you. Mwah! I greatly appreciate y'all. Y'all, we still on the road to 1k we have a long, a long 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 way to go but i believe in y'all and i believe in myself that we're gonna get there and we're gonna reach it is a process and with this process we're gonna take it one day at a time and we're gonna keep it moving so thank y'all so much i love y'all i appreciate y'all until next Thursday, peace out, my friends. Listen to the sound. She wants to move to the beat of the drum.